push. These are the brakes, the very large disc slider rotors, very fancy brakes, stop a lot of power. Let's go over some uh, specifications right quick on this seat because again, I'm pretty new to uh, Aston Martins, I'm not even sure what the specs are, but if I can read them out, it says it has a 400, I'm sorry, 503 horsepower, 4 liter twin turbo V8, it has a uh, what else do we have here? Torque vectoring, full LED headlights with integrated DRLS. A bunch of different very cool options. Dark chrome satin carbon interior pack. 360 degree camera with front and rear parking, which is cool. That's good. Of course, dual climate control. Comes with 24-hour uh, roadside assistance, three-year unlimited mile warranty. The MSRP is 152.995, and the MPG is 18 city, 24 highway, 20 city combined. Once again, with cars like these, they have a functional air scoop for air, additional air to be sucked in to cool the engine. This is very bold design right here, very very bold. Look at this side spoiler. That's very good. What else? This also is real and functional. It's not fake. That's real. It's a very bold design. And this interior is um, kind of like burgundy and yellow color, which is pretty rare. I don't see those a lot. I don't see those a lot at all. Pretty fancy stuff. These exhaust tips look like they're carbon coated. Those are sensors right there. You see one, two, three, four, and then there's two more on that side. So everything on here is functional. It's not for show. This is this is functional. This is really functional. And uh, I believe this is rear wheel drive. So look how this. Uh, this light bar goes completely across from one side to the next. That's you know that's a common thing that they're doing now on the high end cars. Looks like it's a wide body. It's a wide body kit. We can go inside right quick to take a look. This is uh, how you open the door. And uh, it's spacious. Right here. So, this is your door handle. It's a little bit different. Yellow trim with brown. This is black. All this is black. Paddle shifters, which are very large. They come from up here and go all the way down here on both sides. 
the lights in here are very nice. I like this. Uh, I like this color, this brightness setting for the light. Yeah, adds a nice touch inside the cabin here. And this is a coupe, so no back seats. Like the in, uh, like not the intersex, but the Porsche hat. This is very fancy. So engine start button, temperature for the circulation, fan, auto, Aston Martin in the center. This over here shows you, to the left, it shows you your fuel gauge, temperature of the engine, and oil pressure. Temperature for outside, which is 72 degrees, and um, that's more than likely your <clears throat> RPM. And this shows, um, of course, this is odometer for, you know, miles per hour. So, RPM gauge, like I said, again, is in the center. Voice commands, voice commands off, adjustable suspension, cut the phone, turn the phone on for Bluetooth calling. S, I guess, is for speed mode. I'm not sure. Home and back, I'm not really sure. What else do we have here? Okay, those two vents. Very over fancy, <clears throat> very fancy uh, mirror right here. It's extremely fancy. Let's look at here. Fancy slide in, fancy slide out. This feels like a luxury wallet. I mean, this feels like the material that they use in a luxury wallet. So, again, here, trunk is right here. This is to uh, let up the windows. This is to adjust your mirror. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. This is not adjustable, but, you know. Reverse, park, neutral drive. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, it has to do with some controls, maybe for a phone. This is for, I guess, volume right here. Volume. Uh, parking brake, I believe. Obviously, this is for hazards. I suppose you can take pictures with this. You can make the cameras take photos. Radio, media. And again, there's the back for luggage right there. And uh, let me see if I can pop the trunk right quick. Let me see if there's a uh, trunk popping button. There should be one here. Don't see one. So, you know what? Actually, I'm going to skip that. Normally I would, but since the car's not running, I'm not going to bother. So, that's pretty much it for this. And it's very, uh, this is a very good place to be. Really, it is. I'm comfortable. This cabin interior is a very comfortable place to be. It really is. Now, like, share, subscribe with notification bell on. Comment, follow me on Instagram, and stay tuned for what's coming because it only gets better and better.